Welcome back guys, Johnny Keck at Amp Futures, and we're going to be going into the exit strategies now, now that we have covered the entry strategies. The first exit strategy that we're going to cover is the bracket exit strategy. Uh, this is going to be the icon that you see here. You'll see uh, one arrow, green arrow pointing up, and one red arrow pointing down. And this is probably one of the, the more popular exit strategies. Uh, let's go ahead and read the short description, a bracket order. Bracket orders help limit your loss or secure a profit depending on price movement. Two opposite side orders are placed above and below your original order like a bracket. So this is what, what you're doing essentially is before you enter your position, uh, you want to have an idea of what your profit target is going to be as well as your stop loss. And you can set those values prior to you entering the position so that when you do enter the position, the platform will automatically set the limit and stop loss for you. So this makes it a little more efficient for you to get into uh, getting those orders uh, executed after your position is filled. So let's go ahead and right click on the exit strategy of bracket and go to edit. And the uh, values here are a bit different. So versus the entry strategies, similar but different in some sense. And if you, lo if you notice here in the bracket strategy parameter section, uh, you have the same style where you can select either ticks or percentages. Now, the only difference here is with the entry strategies, when you're setting it based on ticks and percentages, it was based off the last, last trade price. All right, so that, that means, for example, if you, if you were using a breakout strategy, you set 10 ticks on the offset and 10 ticks for the offset uh, on the profit and stop loss, for example, or better yet, on the breakout strategy, what you're doing is you're placing a buy stop 10 ticks away from the last trade price or a sell, step, a sell stop 10 ticks away from the last trade price. Now, with this situation, when you're using an exit strategy, it's morally based off your fill price versus the last trade price, so also known as your average price. Okay, so if I were to set, let's say, an offset value of 8 and an offset value of an 8, which would be 2 points on the mini S&P, assuming I got filled at 20.74.75, uh, then that would, be, that would mean that I would have a 2-point or 8-tick profit target, which would be an 8-tick sell limit or an 8-tick sell stop if I was long or vice versa if I was short. So this is dependent on the on the average fill price or where you got filled at versus the last trade price okay so just want to point that out uh, be mindful of that now if you decide that you want to use direct price model instead you do have that option you can go ahead and do that but this if you decide to do that you just have to pay attention to where the last trade price is because only certain orders can be placed on certain sides of the market uh, so for example right now is a, a good example if I was to go long the the profit target at 2057 would be an invalid order type because if I were to go long at 2074.75, the market's already trading at a higher price than 2057, which means a sell limit at 2057 is impossible based on the market trading at 2074.75. So if you do decide to use the direct price option, just be mindful of where the market's trading at to understand that the order types or the prices that you're submitting are going to be valid prices depending on where the market's trading at. Uh, for for in, in, in specific to that reason, I usually just like using the ticks because it's always just going to be based off the last trade price. And once you're filled, that last trade price is never going to change. It's always going to stay static, so it, it will always be dependent off that price. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick with that example. For now, I'm going to use the tick option. I'm not going to use percentages. I'm going to stick with 8 and 8. These are just hypothetical examples. You can use more parameters. Now, the difference here is you don't have a quantity like you do for the entry strategies, but you do have the ability to change the order type, whether it's a day order, good till cancel, good till day, and so forth, and also change the type of stop that you want to implement. So if I'm going to use a stop loss of 8 ticks, what kind of stop do I want to use? Do I want to use a regular stop market, or do you want to use a stop limit uh, order? If I decide to use a stop limit, then I just got to make sure I set the offset value. For now, I'm just going to keep the, uh, the order as a regular stop market. I'm going to go ahead and just deselect the less parameters. Now, what's important auto-attached to orders uh, for you to understand is if we're not in a position, which we currently are not in the position at this moment, you can see that I'm currently flat. Now, if I go ahead and hit auto-attached to orders, what this is going to do, it's going to automatically attach the bracket exit strategy to the next position that I take on. So it's important for you to check auto attach to orders if you want the strategy to be implemented to you to the, the next position that you're going to establish when you're flat. All right, so I'm going to hit save. All right, now let's go ahead and place an order now. Market's not open yet, and I'm hoping I can still place the order so you can see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and just scroll the chart up just a bit. And I'm going to place a buy limit below the market price. So let's work an order to buy at uh, 2070 with this particular bracket strategy enabled. And notice that when you auto attach the extra strategy, 
there will be a green check on the actual on the actual icon itself. That's letting you know that the extra strategy is applied, and that therefore it's going to be automatically attached to the next position that you take on. So look for that green check there. An easy way to turn it on and off is if you double left click on the icon, that turns it off. If you double left click again, that turns it on. So that's an easy way to turn the extra strategy on and off, just by simply left clicking, double left click on the on the strategy icon itself. All right. So now that it's on, I'm going to go ahead and take my Let's just place a tray here at 2070 even. I'm going to right click with my mouse at 2070. And we're going to go and place order. And we'll place a simple buy limit. And there's the buy limit. So my guess is I'm not going to be able to get into a position right now because the market's closed. However, it does look like it's, a, it's allowing me to place the working order, which will be fine. This at least gives me the, uh, the capability of showing you what the strategy is going to look like. So this is the one thing I like about multicharts.net. If you notice that I'm currently working on buy limit at 2070 on the chart, if you notice there's a there's some transparent orders that you can see that are kind of resting behind the candles themselves. So you can see there's a profit target. So let's go back to our bracket parameters, and you can see that our eight tick offset was set for profit target, and our eight tick offset is set for stop loss. So let's if we do get filled at 2070, if the market comes down to 2070, we we go long from 2070. That would mean that our sell limit should be at 2072, and you can see that at 2072, and you can see that our stop loss is for eight ticks, which should be a sell stop at 2068. And you can see there's a sell stop at 2068. Okay, so this is what I like about multicharts.net. It's actually giving you a, vis a visual confirmation, letting you know that the exit strategy has been in effect um, after you posted or placed the actual working order itself. So the reason why they're transparent, however, is because this order, which is what we call the parent order, has not been filled yet. So the parent order has to get filled first in order for the child orders to be produced, which are the, the child orders will be the stop loss and the profit target. All right, so that's why you see them transparent. Once this order gets filled here at 2070, you will no longer see them transparent and they will look just like this order here, which will mean an active order. And notice when I placed the order, you could see that that bracket was automatically applied based on me setting the values from this particular dialog box here. And that's pretty much what the bracket strategy is going to do. Again, you have an OCO strategy in effect. So if either one of these orders get filled, whether you get stopped out or if you collect your profit, the other order will automatically get canceled. Of course, you can always drag and drop to modify the working orders without compromising the OCO. Just the main thing you don't want to do is straight cancel the order itself. All right, so uh, if you straight cancel the OCO order altogether, it's going to cancel the OCO strategy, and you're not going to have that bracket working for you anymore. Another thing I want to mention as well, if you're in the strategy section, and let's say that you forget to auto-attach the orders. So let's just say I'm going to go ahead and just cancel out the bracket. All right, now you can, let's just say, uh, for example, uh, bear with me one second. Now this might be tough to demonstrate because the market's not open right now. It's going to open at about uh, roughly two hour, an hour and, and 45, an hour and I believe, an hour and 25 minutes or so. So that's when the market's gonna, gonna open from right now. So I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate how to do this, but however, um, you will get the idea what I'm gonna explain to you. So right now, for example, if I cancel this order out, and let's say I'm in the process of setting my parameters for my exit strategy for the bracket order. Okay, I have eight ticks set, eight ticks set for the profit target and as well as for the stop loss, but I accidentally forget to auto-attach to, auto the orders there. Okay, I hit save, and I go to place the trade, and let's just say I place a buy limit. All right, so now you can see there's an order working at 20.69 half. And now you're looking, you notice, okay, well, I forgot to auto-attach the strategy to the limit order. Okay, so you could still apply the extra strategy to either an open position that already exists. If Let's pretend that this order got filled at, at 20.69 and a half. If you right-click on the extra strategy, you will notice an option that says apply to open position. Now, right now, it's grayed out, so I do apologize uh, because it, I'm not in a position right now. I'm not able to get into one since the market is closed. However, if you are in a position, this apply to open position parameter will not be grayed out. It will be active, so you can select it. And when you select it, all that you're going to see is exactly this, this exact window here. And all you're going to have to do is just set the parameters of what your strategy is going to be. You don't have to worry about auto-attaching the orders because you're already in the position this is assuming that we're in the position you're going to apply the exit strategy to an existing open position. All right, so just make sure you set your values, hit save, and then you're going to be able to apply the strategy to the open position itself. Now, in this case, I have a working limit, so I'm not filled just yet. And let's say if you forget to, to attach the strategy, then what you can do is just take the strategy, left-click, drag it, 
and drop it right over the existing order. Notice that when my mouse cursor is not hovered over the working order, if you notice, my cursor turns into a, in a almost like a disabled icon. Now, if I hover my mouse cursor over the working order, if I l release the left click, now I can place the strategy. And now you can see the bracket order has been reapplied. Okay, so that's exactly how you would do it if you were in the position as well. The only difference is I can't demonstrate it since the market's closed. But again, if you're in the position already, assuming you're not flat here, just simply right click on the exit strategy and go to apply to open position. It'll bring you right to this box here. Set your values. Don't worry about auto attaching because you're already in the position and just simply hit apply strategy and it will apply the strategy uh, just how I, uh, similar to what I did here to the existing working order. And that concludes the bracket exit strategy. We're going to move on to the next exit strategy to the right, which I believe is going to be the break-even strategy. Thanks, guys, for your time. We'll see you in the next video.